G'day guys, Rubber Kitty here. Uh, I'm in the Queen Street Mall at the moment, but I was having thoughts about issues that other people have and it is early in the morning and it is cold. <laughs> anyway, um, things like privacy, doxing, outing people, shenanigans and all that sort of stuff which we come across a lot in um, the BDSM world and the community um, where you want to explore uh, a lot of things that aren't within the normal realm um, and you know you're worried about you know what your friends might think your family um, you know it could affect your work and all that and there's there's always issues there because you know it, it's it's all about like perception and what people perceive as being normal and if you're not then you know uh, that's a thing but the thing is it's it's people's private lives and if what they do doesn't affect their work um, what they do in private doesn't affect their work it shouldn't be a problem it, it's it's like if someone is trying to influence you to do things because of your work or hold something over you that's just not cool um, and respecting people's privacy I mean you're, yeah there are some um, occupations like celebrities where they basically don't have any private lives because they are celebrities and they put themselves out there and you've got to expect that and I expect that to a certain extent being um, you know doing what I do that you know there's, there's things that I reveal and um, there's things that people want to know um, there's also some things that people don't want to know and you should respect that um, and respect that you know people's privacy if you get in a situation where it's it gets a bit dicey when there's things like you know um say if you wanted to get into a non-monogamous relationship g'day paul and people and some of them will say okay my partner doesn't know they don't understand then it's kind of your decision to say look no i don't want to get into something like that but to essentially blackmail somebody or imply or threaten that's actually illegal to to do that <laughs> to like you know do that to, to threaten somebody to, to do whatever you want or get whatever you want just because um, they're in a position that makes them vulnerable and that's really not cool guys um, so there's a lot of issues particularly these days with data Facebook Google you know people's data and information is out there and it's it's kind of like I guess it's kind of like public displays of affection some people don't like it they're uncomfortable with public displays of affection like people kissing and holding hands in public that doesn't mean you have to go up to them and, and, and say something you can just ignore that um, the exceptions that I, I would hold is that if there's actually something illegal or dangerous going on because you've got to you've got to make that judgment yourself um, I guess these days to me privacy even though I'm out there <laughs> privacy is a thing um, you know respecting people's wishes um, just showing respect I guess in general for people and their position in life you know as a human being as a person as a living growing spiritual thing so I guess this early in the morning I'm not thinking too clearly but hey Paul how's it going and I reckon since it's really cold and it doesn't look like there's much in the sky there that um, it's probably going to be a pretty sunny day so since it's going to be a sunny day I encourage you guys to get out there and you know get out in the sun for a little bit because it is cold okay so anyway Privacy, respect people's privacy. Doxing, guys, people have family, lives, and you know, all that sort of stuff. Kids, you know, pets that they love, all that sort of stuff. And outing, so not cool, very not cool. Um, you know, if, if you don't like it being done to you, don't do it to somebody else. And that, that's all I can really say about that. But have a good day, get out in the sun. Um, have a lovely, lovely day. Bye. Love you guys.